Welcome back, YouTubers and YouTubeettes. This is Mr. Bull897. We are back with some more Mad Games Tycoon. Now, I should inform you guys, I just recorded some Game Dev Tycoon, and I was having some problems with my mic. Still I am on Shadow Play for NVIDIA, but I'm using Audacity, so hopefully this time it's going to stick and work for us, so we shouldn't have too many issues with this episode. So we're going to get back in here and start. And, um... Please tell me. Okay, that's not our actual money. Whew. I saw our new game, Carl on Duty, and we were at negative 616,000, and it scared me off. So we're at 1.88 million total with almost 5,000 fans, and we're going to see how Carl on Duty does. I wonder if I have it set up to... Oh, went off the market at negative $616,000. Oh, we're working on another game, so maybe it just didn't update me on the weeks. We'll see. Anyway, looks like we're working on Thief. I haven't played this game in quite some time, so we'll see. I don't know. Is that... Holy crap. There's Reputation now? I guess uh, that's a new update, I think. Okay. There's quite a bit of new stuff in here. We're going to let Thief be pumped out with our... Oh, wait, this guy. Get in there and help them. I don't know who all who our employees are anymore. Anyway, looks like right now, does, does that say fishing helicopter games are popular? Sports games, fishing. Okay, unpopular is helicopter interactive movies. Obviously, a helicopter interactive movie sounds a bit boring. I mean, maybe a helicopter simulation or something, but... Holy shit, it's raining! Okay, that must be part of whatever update came out. I know there's a big update because it told me it updated, but I haven't looked into it, and we haven't played it since then. It also looks like they moved the year and the time over, so we're in the year 1992 currently. We'll see how well Thief does now that I don't know anything about this game. We might actually have to start fresh. I'm, I'll check the logs after this episode. We'll see how it went. Anyway, I forgot to set my timer here, so we're going to do that real quick. And if I can find it. There we go. You guys are going to get a few extra minutes, perhaps. All right. Mad Game Awards are out. Republic Knights. I don't know what the hell. None of these are my game. Oh, worst game of the year, Carl on Duty. They're going to be mad when we come out with Carl on Duty 2, Black Cops. So, that, w that was a Call of Duty reference for you guys out there that don't play Call of Duty. If we want to get really creative, we could do Carl on Duty, Black Cox, but they might frown upon that. Anyway, 65% on Thief. Let's see if there's anything we can afford to research. Um, we could do more genres, but that means making a new engine as well. Do we want to do that is the question. I mean, eventually we will. We'll have an engine for every one of them that we'll update over time. But right now, we only have our RPG engine, I think. Although a Conquest RPG sounds insanely fucking awesome. So we're going to research Conquest. I think the game we're right now making right now is probably a thief um thief game well it's called thief but i'm guessing it's a thief rpg so we'll see we'll do a conquest rpg though as well i don't think the uh the genre matters as much as the the topic so we'll be good excuse my alcohol in the background as well i should apologize for the slurping noises you are about to endure as i am playing this game but it's massive amounts of fun, so don't care too much. Anyway, this game's almost done, so we're going to take this guy who has crappy programming skills and put him in training. That's what we'll do. Thief just released, and it looks like Legend of Zelda. So yes, we want to release Thief. And it looks like we have an all-new... I'm going to guess that's technology. Like I said, been a while. Um, we do have the abilities to produce it ourselves, so we're going to produce it ourselves, give us, us two weeks, 
and we're going to go ahead and fill up all the package contents because I love a big package and we're going to ask for fifteen dollars in profit we're going to sell this game for twenty eight bucks which if you ask me is a good deal I'd pay twenty eight bucks forty two percent I think that's going to be one of our best games yet and we need to start producing thief on our own um, since it's one of our best games we're gonna do a hundred thousand units to start out with and we'll see how that sells let this guy finish up this programming course and then we're actually gonna get rid of the programming room and put a quality assurance room in there alright looks like it's starting off um, let's research I think if we get anything else we're gonna have to research the higher level games and I don't want to do that just yet so we'll leave that all where it's at for now until we're filthy rich because we're still only sitting at 1.7 million dollars it looks like there we go selling our first week we've sold 11,000 units in three weeks not too bad at all and we're gonna do some contract work compose some music for Koei. That's how we'll do this. Let's see how that works out for us. Does it just rain every night here? Where the fuck do we live? Okay. Looks like we're making a little bit of money off of this. So far, we're still in the negative because we're producing 100,000 copies. So, um, we'll do a small booth get Thief a little bit of exposure. We gained 5,000 fans as well. And then we're going to do a game update for Thief. And we're going to go ahead and update everything. Try and get rid of some of our bugs. And then we're going to do a... Actually, this guy can go back in here. This guy in here. And we'll do a marketing campaign of $15,000. Hopefully we can finish this update before it goes off the market. It's getting close, so we're going to throw the third guy on there. And while we're at it, we need to delete... Wait, I need to do this first. Delete room. Remove. Yes, got some money back from that. And add a quality assurance. That's what we need, quality assurance. Oops. Okay. Uh no that way there we go place the door down go to desks we're gonna buy an expensive desk because we like to splurge for our employees alright there we go now we have this guy who we have to put him back on this we have to do auto repeat my bad alright looks like we're done producing new copies just there we go there we go, just released the update and it sent our sales skyrocketing. Excellent. Now we're almost back to positive numbers on that. And while we're doing that, we're going to develop a patch to get rid of these 77 bugs. That's why we just got a quality assurance room, just to help us with those bugs. And then we have some more stuff coming out for it. Hopefully, yes, looks like we're seeing positive numbers, barely. <laughs> we're at $40,000 right now. We're, we're kind of in the tank, right? Hopefully, if we can get this patch out there, then that'll definitely boost sales for the game again. Come on, come on. There we go. Release the patch. Please boost sales. Ah, off the market. We made $35,000. Okay. So, in that case, we have $2 million to play with. We're going to make a B-plus game. And topic, we're going to call... Um... Conquest. We're going to do a Conquest game for adults and it's going to be an RPG of course, but I'm thinking a adventure RPG perhaps. Adventure RPG maybe. Um maybe. Adventure RPG would be fun. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to use our role play gen 1.4 plus and for a conquest game of course we're gonna have to call it hmm I lost all thought process on a good name for a conquest game um, 
we're gonna get creative and we're gonna call this the anal conquest there we go I can't type today the anal conquest and we'll see how this does for us select a platform we need our personal computer and we'll make it for the Nintendo as well and that should be good we'll, we'll call that good um what did decent I think Viking Conquest 3 is probably our best RPG adventure game, so we're going to check that out. Um, will it show me its total percentage on what it did? That's the question. Looks like it will not. So, we're going to do our best to just, we'll, we'll copy that and see how it does. Because it's been a little while, Secure Disk version 1 is still the best copyright. Actually, let's see what they thought about Thief. Many fans are disappointed with the quality of Thief. Sucks for you guys. We only have three programmers. I don't know what you're expecting. Um, we'll put everything at 25, I guess. Maybe that'll help. For quality. I don't know. Oh, bugs. That was the issue. The bugs were the... Get back here. No. You stop playing video games on the clock and get back here. Okay. Um, remove bugs of anal conquest. Actually, cancel that. Can I improve gameplay? Yes. Do more game balancing. There you go. We're going to put a little bit of more money in this. He can improve the gameplay for us, which will definitely help us out a lot. You were... There were problems with current drivers for different input devices. Now some functions have to be rewritten. Minus two to technology from Anal Conquest. Okay, sounds good. Um, once this guy finishes that, I'll put him on removing these bugs. It looks like we're up to 20. Oh, these numbers need to be higher resolution. I can't read them when they're in red. I'm also colorblind though, so that's an issue. Anyway. He's almost done with balancing the gameplay mechanics, which will be good for us. And, ooh, worst game of the year is Thief. We got worst game of the year two years running, folks. We are doing amazing. Losing 2,000 fans each time. But who cares? Game of the year. I mean, that's a good stepping point. I mean, worst game of the year, but it still has the word game of the year in it. So as long as people don't read into it, we'll be good. All right. Um, he's removing the bugs now, though. That'll help the quality now that we have a quality assurance guy. So hopefully they, this one will do a lot better than Thief did. All right. 54% of the way through the game. Finish developing it, folks. Taking forever. New research feature, shader support. We really need to start researching better things for our engine, but we're just not making that much money yet. We are at 1.5 million dollars though. I wonder if when they updated it... Ooh, the bank looks cool. Uh, if they updated it, if they changed the prices of the new buildings. Let's see. Nope, still butt-ass expensive for the gigantic building. 246 million dollars. We'll pay for that and at the rate we're growing negative something. I mean, we're dropping money constantly. Anyway, Anal Conquest, one of your sound special to specialists, has found in his library an old song. This song sounds great and has been added to the current game. Plus eight to sound quality. Plus eight would be amazing if we were, weren't already at 200 sound quality. I mean, eight to 200, I couldn't care less. <laughs> now, if they gave us 100, I'd feel special. Oh, right. He's definitely keeping up with the bugs. Right now, we only have six in the game. Seven. So once the game completes, we'll let him uh, just get rid of all of them. And then I'll put someone on marketing while he's doing that. In fact, that guy's RPG. I'm not... Am I not RPG? Oh, that's not me. Okay. This guy gets the pleasure of running the marketing campaign. For a local magazine. Yeah. What the fuck? Playing a video game already? I just put you on a new task. Come on. Ugh. 
I have lazy employees. They need to give me a whip. Okay. This game's almost done. He has to get rid of the bugs. Anal Conquest is ready to go. But we're going to hold off on publishing it for him to finish the bugs and a little bit of hype to be built up. All right. Looks like they're all done. We're going to buy a small booth as well and put Anal Conquest on display. 6,000 fans. Maybe this game's going to do well. Who knows? I'm going to produce it myself because we tend, we can make more money off of that. We can also make a lot less money off of that. So, okay. And 50%. Okay, it did a lot better than Thief did. That's for sure. Good genre combination and good package contents. I'm glad they love my package. Okay. Um, sell remainders. We need to sell the remainders of Thief and Carl on duty. Huh, <laughs> duty. Um, produce game, Anal Conquest. We're going to go to 50,000 because we didn't, I don't think we quite sold 50,000. Well, 100,000 of uh, the last game. So we're going to start out by making 50,000 and see how that works when we release it. Alright. And first week yep definitely need to produce a hundred thousand we sold twenty three thousand in the first two weeks I believe so if we're only producing fifty thousand I don't know what we're gonna be doing okay we need to develop a game update get that rolling out there and hopefully that'll pull us out of the negative we're at negative Still sitting heavily. Okay, we're positive now. We're po nope. Now we're negative. We're H okay. We're HIV positive, folks. Oh wow! I don't think we're producing fast enough to keep up with the load because it's a steady plateau. We're selling seven thousand a week for some reason. I I guess we need a better system, but we're at half a million dollars off of this game, so definitely doing well. Um. And that's not even being able to keep up with production. Okay. At least it's helping us out. We can't quite keep up, but we're doing something right. On the next game we make, we'll definitely stay ahead of production. Um, this guy can go back to the research room. Since we've made some money, I'm going to have him research a new topic. We're going to do a... Um, dungeons maybe? Dwarfs. Gotta do dwarves. Dwarves are awesome. Okay, we're over a million dollars now, which is definitely a good sign. But unfortunately, we're still capping out at $7,000 sales a week. Um, and we just stopped producing, so we need to get back in there. We're going to do produce automatically. 100,000 copies and maybe that'll help us doing it that way. I doubt it. We're still capping out our sales. So while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and release another game update since we're capping out what we can produce because we're almost to $2 million. I think that's going to be our top selling game so far. Other than that one week that we dipped, we've stayed at that. Okay. No awards, but we are not the worst game of the year. However, the worst game of the year is God's Quest 2, and the best soundtrack goes to God's Quest 2. How does that work? No idea. I don't know how you win an award and still get worst game of the year. Okay. Um, still capping out at 7,000. Maybe that's all this game, this machine can produce. We might have to upgrade. Um, production... Yeah, I think the name of it is how much it can produce. The MC-1000 is what we have, and I'm guessing that's like a 1,000 units every, I don't know how long. But while the other one is going to be maybe 3,000 units in that time, after we're done producing for this game, we'll jump in there and make a new one. But while we're producing for this game and making money, and I don't think we should do another update for it just yet. We're going to do 
some contract work that is going to give us $152,000. That's what I like to see. This guy can go in here. I don't even know what his skills are. He's like the guy I never used for anything. Okay, now our sales are starting to drop. But we have made $2 million off of Anal Conquest. That must have been one hell of an adventure game. Okay, um... I can hire and fire staff. That's cool. I thought I could buy companies in this one, too. Maybe not. Anyway, we're ma making money. We're $4 million. It's dropping in money. I don't know why we're dropping so fast in money. But Anal Conquest made $2.14 million. We're going to... Let's go back to this thing. Wait, actually, that's how I do it. Sell that for 40000 and get the new machine for $350,000. Oh, God. I felt that one hurt my soul. And I want to get rid of you. Put you back in there. Put you back in there. And then develop a game. B+. Plus. I guess this one's going to be pretty much the exact same. It's going to be a dwarf game for teenagers. Because teenagers are short, and they want to feel loved. And it'll be an RPG, of course. And I'm guessing an adventure RPG with the roleplay gen. And we're going to call this one... Hmm... Gimli's Axe. Yeah. That sounds like a badass game. I'd play that. Gimli's the best dwarf that ever existed, so... Anyway. Actually, I don't think we should be making it for that anymore because I believe the year is 1995, and if I remember correctly, in 1995... The, yes, the SMES was already released. So I don't know the point of putting it on the regular Nintendo when we have a Super Nintendo available. All right. So we'll add that. One of the best systems to ever exist, by the way. And doesn't look like we have anything from Anal Conquest for our fan letters. I don't know why wonder what kind of fans we drew with that. We're going to make it for all language, all languages, and I guess scripted AI is all we're leaving out because we can't afford to put that in there. All right. Now that that's in development, I would like to say thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Bull897. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we're signing out.